I want you to see this guy here. I mean, he's double teaming two big dogs. Double teaming, taking them on. You see? And you see the energy that he's doing it with? He is like uh, really handling it. And this goes to show you that he has that in him. You see? <laughs> Look, this is what goes on. These puppies put it on them, man. And the puppies put it on these guys like this because when we first started out, that's how they played with them. But they won't play with the other dogs the same way. You know, morning time is the most explosive time of the day because the dogs are hungry <clears throat> and uh, they're all seeing each other for the first time after a few hours. And so the energy level is up. Explosive. And at any given time, there could be a number of things, six or seven different scenarios that are going on here in the morning because of the space that I have here. Uh, a lot of different dogs in different positions with uh, experiences that they've had in the past with each other trying to overcome that and uh, new dogs being introduced for the first time to other dogs and dogs that are here that are occupying certain territorial uh, situations that they feel that they control because of the particular position in the compound that they hold. It's like uh, the old movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. There's always something going down. And <clears throat> I have to be able to deal with that and control simultaneous things happening and be able to hear, see, observe, feel things happening all around me. So it is a complicated yet a very simple thing when you've been doing it for quite some time. Uh, you have to be multi-layered for sure in getting things done and knowing how to deal with certain things. So I'm showing you these videos and the puppies are bringing it out for those of you who are interested in working with dogs and becoming a behavioralist or a trainer or whatever your um, thoughts might be, that these are the type of things that you're going to be dealing with. It's not just the one-on-one, -on -one, which is basically what training is. Usually when you see it, a person has their dog and they're teaching them how to sit and stay and down and all these things that I don't particularly uh, care for. I don't see where it's necessary. Like I said, it's just like a ran landscape garden. I'm more interested in the uh, wild side of things. <clears throat> I'm interested in what makes a dog feel the need to be this or that or to do this or that that revolves around something that we as human beings don't like. It's because we don't understand that it's a need that they're trying to fulfill. And in fulfilling that need, it makes them balance, and that's what I'm all about, balancing. Uh, taking dogs that are formerly aggressive or have, with behavioral problems and putting them in situations that uh, I can control. Energizing them. Hey! From an aggressive state, you see how he tried to dominate something that was weak? To be able to hormonally manipulate them, to feel what I want them to feel so that when we're out in public, when a dog is doing something, I'm able to control that. In order to do that, you have to be able to work with a lot of crazy exotic, exotic things that are happening and be able to deal with it. And you've got to deal with it all at the same time. It's not a one-on-one -on -one thing. And that's, that's what makes it that landscape garden or that rainforest. Can you manipulate, like I'm manipulating this guy, just by me talking, my body language is telling him what I don't like. Now I'm gonna go and open up this run. Let's see if he just goes in it. Let's just see what he does. If I see him doing something that I don't like with the puppies, because I'm introducing him to the puppies. He has a problem with weakness. I understand that. I got a problem with weakness too. <laughs> And so, I'm manipulating him. Now, I want to show you something else. There's a dog, I don't know if you saw him on one of my videos, that's been constantly chewing on this wood. 
and we wonder why dogs are able to mimic each other. He smells the breath of this dog on that, eating like that, and he mimics that. That's how they learn. They'll smell the scent of a dog's breath on something and they know that this is good to eat or it's not good to eat. This is something that dogs are concerned with and this is how they survive. This is nature happening. He's only doing what he's smelling, not even what he has seen. This guy just got here and he's doing that. All right. Well, we're going to put the guys together and we're going to feed. I'm going to show you. I can make this guy go on his run just by hormonally manipulating him. Hey! There you go. We'll continue.